everyone, welcome to my channel The Mum's Life and my series Fat Friday. So today, yes, it is time for another weigh in and another check in, another chit chat, another whatever I feel like saying, doing, talking about, you know. Well, today I do, yes, have a weigh in. Weigh in, and earlier this week I did make for dinner a stuffed chicken breast, which I actually recorded for you guys. So I am dressed differently, but just be aware it's because I recorded it slightly earlier this week and you guys will be able to watch and enjoy that. I don't have anything overly interesting to really talk about. So first I thought we'd get to the most important bit, the weight in and get that done and out of the way. And then we can go on and just enjoy watching the cooking video because damn was the food good. Okay guys, so to the weigh in. Look, I know the numbers as of late haven't been great. Trust me, I know it, I feel it. Yesterday afternoon, I remember sitting in this exact chair on my computer and I was just kind of like, I'm really sore. Like I'm kind of really bloated feeling. I feel really just kind of gluggy and held down and weighed down in my stomach slash lower abdomen. And then I realized the date and realized I was very much due for my lovely friend. So it just kind of really sucks. I've put on probably close to seven kilos from what I've lost from having gone off keto a couple of weeks ago for a couple of weeks, close to a month. And then just really struggling to get back onto keto this time. And it's like, I don't understand why I'm enjoying the food. And it's just little things here and there that just come along and I get slipped up and I just seem to have no self-control. I don't know if it's because I was really trying to buckle down right before my monthly and when you're not in keto, well when I'm not in keto, my monthly is full of cravings and really hard things to control where when I'm eating keto and I'm getting that time of month, I don't have any of those problems. I don't crave and die for food or anything like that, which I have been doing recently. So. I definitely need to go out. I think my biggest thing is I'm a very much a snacker instead of a meal eater. So I need to go out and make sure I have all my keto snacks planned, in place, easily transportable with me. Um, I've got to go back and buy Twiggy sticks. I haven't bought them in ages and I feel like that's a big downfall. I ran out of cream the other day because I tipped a whole, whole 600 ml tub of cream down the inside of my fridge, like it was open my fridge and it tipped down all the front, all the shelves, all the groceries. I spent so long cleaning it up, it drove me nuts. So I then run out of cream, I was going to make a egg omelette with mushrooms, instead I just ate a fried egg, but I wasn't that impressed and <sighs> then I picked at the kids snacks that they had because I was kind of hungry because I didn't really eat enough in the morning because my plans went out the window. That's a bit sad. Oh, one thing I do want to touch on before I get to cooking because I might as well touch on it. It's got slightly to do with food, slightly not, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Um, just recently in a uh, low carb, high fat group, a lady had posted for Australia, because I don't know about other places what they have. But in Australia, we don't have diced or cut up cauliflower for cauli rice. We don't have pre zoodled zucchinis. We have to do that ourselves. Now, I stopped making zoodles or zucchini noodles, whatever you want to call them, because the machine that you make it with, and you twist it and they will come out this end, the machine you make it with, I could never get clean properly. It was always disgustingly dirty. I couldn't get all of the green from the capsicum skin out. It was just horrendous. So I stopped making them because it became way too difficult to clean. But this girl had posted that one of our um, big end Supermarkets is now stocking cauliflower, rice, and zoo well, as well as the And I was like, what? Oh my god. So I definitely shared it with my little group of Melbourne ketoers and was like, holy shit, because this is convenient. People may complain about packaging or it's so easy to do at home. But let me be real. It's just really convenient. It took me two hours to go out with the kids yesterday. I went to two different shops, crossed four roads, picked up six light bulbs in full and two small bags of groceries and that took me two hours so on top of that trying to last minute decide what i'm going to make for dinner can be stressful and if one of the things i know i can always grab just as a precaution as an extra as a filler would be the zoodles or the cauliflower rice if i could just pick one of those up 
Then if I bought chicken and I'm like, shit, what am I gonna do with my chicken now? Easy, sour cream sauce with it. Sour cream bacon sauce, because I've chance I've got all those ingredients. If I want to do a steak, awesome, creamy mushroom sauce and I can do it with a side of steak. If I wanted to make homemade Kiev things, then I could do it with a side of cauliflower rice where I would usually eat rice because that's how I had it at the pubs and became strongly addicted to it that way because there was something about, you know, the way <laughs> the inside of a chicken Kiev, that garlic butter, the way that oozes out all over rice, there is something heavenly about that. But it works just as well with cauliflower rice. Anyway guys, it's just hella convenient. When my husband is last minute picking something up because I forgot to give him enough sides to go with his dip, dinner because he works in a freezer and it takes a lot of energy so he eats a lot um if he feels like he really needs more than now he has an option to pick up other than rice cups or bread like this is what I mean guys it it might not be convenient for you it might not take you a long time to chop a head of cauliflower I'm more likely to go and chop half a head of cauliflower serve it to my family then leave the other half in the fridge and totally forget about it at almost six dollars a head of cauliflower I don't want to pay for that I don't want to pay for the wastage. If it was already done in a container, I can guarantee I probably wouldn't waste any of it. So, that's just my thoughts on it. But Woolworths, I am so proud of you. I also reached out to Woolworths today, actually, on my Twitter. It was like, hey, you guys should get in contact with Halo Top Ice Cream and really start stocking them because they are not stocked in a lot of places within Australia, so to say. It's not like at every single store. There are a couple of IGAs that may have them, a couple of health food stores. But I really want the convenience of just being able to go down the road, five minutes down the road, well, 10 minutes by car, to my grocery store and buy ice cream. I don't want to have to drive half an hour out of my way to go and get ice cream in the middle of Australian summer, where I then have to drive back with my ice cream in the car for half an hour. <laughs> it's not going to end well. And I don't want to do that. I want to eat things like birthday cake and lemon cake. Oh, s'mores. Mint, oh, ice cream. Oh, I've been emotionally eating lately because my weight's been going up and that obviously does not help my weight gain, but there is not much we can do about that. I'm going to get my shit together, guys, I promise. Hopefully we'll start seeing weight loss next week because this thing should be gone. And then I should just de-bloat, hopefully. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Alright guys, I have rambled enough for today. Like always, I just talk, talk, talk. Okay guys, so earlier this week I did make for you, well, I made for me. <laughs> I made my dinner. I made chicken stuffed breast and it was stuffed with a cream cheese and chive mix along with some garlic, salt and bacon. I then topped it off with a sour cream and bacon sauce with a side of veggies. Now this has been one of my favorite meals since I made it just the other day like I was so blown away I'm like holy shit it was so yummy so much easier to do than I anticipated and it was so worth that tiny little bit of extra effort hubby loved it so I thought I would record it for you guys since it was the first time I ever made it like why not try it then but there you go all right guys so here we go into the little cooking segment I guess we can call it and um, hopefully you guys like the look of it because it tasted amazing Okay guys, so I am going to make today uh, something I had at one of my local pubs. They called it Chicken Louisiana. I actually Googled that and all I could get was American fried chicken. So I had to go on, download the menu, figure out what the ingredients are from the description and just kind of wing it. I did a test run earlier today for hubby's lunch and I'm going to do my one for dinner, which I'm so keen on. He says it tastes amazing. He's just had dinner at work and says, perfect. So. I'm really, 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 really hoping this turns out perfect. So essentially what it is, is a chicken breast that is stuffed with cream cheese, chives and bacon. Uh, it is then rolled in prosciutto or bacon, your choice. I rolled my husband's in some of the farmer's market bacon that we got the other day. So we went up to one of the little butchers that was set up within the market. He had been cooking some of this um, chunky cut bacon. Essentially, so it's just a big slab of bacon you cut and you can kind of cut it however you want. But I was a bit fussy. I was like, oh, you might as well just give me the slices I want, like the thin slices since you already had them. But he had pre-cooked some for taste testing, which was a brilliant idea because one, it's not amazing. Two, we were starving. Three, bacon is keto friendly. 
And four, well, the salt taste was so low, I was so surprised, I was shocked, I had no idea. You know, if you eat too much bacon, generally from the supermarket, that quite easily you can feel like every mouthful is a mouthful of salt. Well, that just doesn't happen because it's missing all of the yucky yucky preservatives. So shout out to Brooklyn's Free Range Farms. So that was really amazing. Jonathan Hurst and Natalie Hardy. These guys have some amazing, 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 amazing bacon. I was impressed. So I don't know if I'm going to wrap mine tonight like I did my husband's, which is a shame. Just because I can't be bothered and it was a lot harder to do because the bacon's really thin, the chicken breast is really fat, and it's not quite long enough to wrap around more than a little bit than once, and I don't want to have to use like three pieces of bacon to wrap my chicken. Uh, usually I'd probably use prosciutto instead because it is easier for wrapping meat, but you know, beggars cannot be choosers today. What I'm going to do though is I think I will be using a piece of the farmer's market bacon for the inside instead of my cheapest stuff like I did for hubby just because I'm not having it on the outside now. So I'm going to serve the chicken with some veggies in a creamy bacon sauce because I think it'll just top it off. I don't, almost don't want to do it with any sauce. I'm just gonna eat it with fresh butter. Let's be real. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I don't know how I'm gonna serve it. I keep changing my mind because I don't... I don't want to wrap it in bacon. I don't have any prosciutto. I was thinking of doing a bacon cream sauce, but I feel like that's a bit heavy. I'm not crazy hungry. Oh, fuck it. Okay, guys. So, I'm pretty much set up to go. I have, sorry, the cream cheese, the chives for the stuffing. This part is to go with the cream dressing, along with my farmer's market bacon, because this is the best stuff. I have... Streaky bacon. Now this stuff is the stuff that's really high in uh, fat and it's not like the middle bacon so you can see really marble, well not marble but lots of fat through it and well it's not too expensive. But I get this from Coles and this is pretty much my standard bacon and it's great for wrapping things. Nine times out of ten. And then we have chicken. So I kind of have a bunch of utensils as well now. Alright, so I just kind of eyed hubbies before and I'm going to essentially do it again. Cream cheese, about a spoon, yeah, into the bowl. I'm going to put it aside for a second because I have to chop my chives. And while this is going, I have some bacon in a fry pan, guys. Alright guys. So I have a blue chopping board for my raw meat, because this is what my chicken will be on. Oh, we are not using that one, we're using this one. Okay, and I'm just gonna chop my bacon. Just get through it. Oh, <laughs> smart assy. Piece of bacon, let's go. Almost there. It gets really hard once it gets to the ends. All right. So that's kind of done, halved, yep. So this now, put the knife out of the way. This in the fry pan, brown up. So we have bacon in the fry pan. Hopefully that'll get nice and crunchy. All right, so we're back to our veggie chopping board, no meat. All right, so we want some chives. I like chives, I think they're very flavorful. One of my pretty favorite herbs, but you know. Chop, chop, chop. Keep your fingers out of the way. You want to make them relatively small. The fragrance I find really comes out of a chive once you chop it up. See, look at that. Nice and chopped. Okay, so I'm going to add that now back into my cream cheese. My bacon will be done soon. I can already smell it cooking away. All right, into the cream cheese, knife down. Oh, good. Okay guys, so I've got one chicken breast here, pretty much ready to go. We're just going to chop into that. I 
All right. So now I have this chicken. It's got a big fat hole in the middle of it. Comes down to about here, all the way across to here, down to here and up to here. It's gonna be nice and full with the cream cheese char bacon mix. Sweet. And see, you don't need to cut it all the way in my opinion, just not needed. All right, washing hands. Whoa. Okay guys, bacon is done. Whoa. I really wanna get spat out here. So into my little bowl. It's a little over crispy because I got sidetracked talking to the camera because I did my first bit of chicken with, and the camera wasn't recording, so yay. That's done. We are back to our vegetables, the cream cheese, the bacon. Now the heat from the bacon really helps make the cream cheese more movable and malleable. And now we're just gonna mix it all in. This also needs some garlic. Usually I'd add fresh garlic, but I realized the stuff I have is no good. So I have, that's my garlic powder. I have garlic powder, but this garlic powder is an asshole and I almost always over pour it. So I have to, yeah, see? Look how much comes out in a tiny little pour. And I really find garlic powder salty, so I don't like to add too much. Especially to such a small amount. Like, yes, you're flavoring a piece of chicken, guys, but you really don't need to kill it. Okay, next we got Himalayan pink salt. We have white pepper, because I'm just looking, I don't like cracked pepper. So white pepper, yum yum. Himalayan salt, which just adds to the saltiness of the garlic. So, you know, garlic salt. So that's why I don't like to use too much of it. All right, so this is looking really, really, really well combined. Let's just give it a little taste. Pretty fucking good. Ignore my dirty sink. I have more dishes to do. I know what's cooking today. But that filling, pea chicken, herb guys. Chicken is back. Now, the simplest bit, scoop out your dressing, open up your hole, put it inside. And then I use my fingers for this just because it allows me to push it around, get it in. You don't want to put too much in, like if you can't close it over, then there is too much in there. I might have just a little bit too much in there, guys. Okay, guys, so I've got some skewers here. This is what I'm going to use to try and bring this shut. I don't know what I was goddamn thinking. I think I way. Oh, 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 hold on. I can feel that. Yep, 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 coming through. Usually people use butcher's twine. I don't have any, but check that out. That is a nice little close, the seams in there. I almost want to do another one, but I think that will be just too much for the chicken. I probably will lose some at the ends. I always kind of do it, never matters. But to me, that is not. That is not a bad seal up with a pick. Okay guys, so I've changed my mind at the last minute. I'm not going to be wrapping this in bacon. I'm going to sear it up in the fry pan I cooked the bacon in. And then in that same fry pan, when I put this in the oven, I'm going to make a cream sour cream bacon sauce. It tastes amazing. And I think it'll just be exactly what this dish needs. And then we'll serve it over broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Cause they're my quick steam fresh veggies that take no time. All right, so heat on. This has still got some bacon fat in it, but there is something about uh, searing chicken off in a lump of butter. So that's gonna melt down. While that is melting down, guys, just off camera where you can't see, I am salt and peppering the outside of my chicken because I want flavor everywhere, not just on one morsel of it so you know we'll get that done nice and salted and flavored and pepper make sure it's got a nice coating because everyone loves it when their food is seasoned all right get this butter melting down it's also going to essentially deglaze this pan which means it's going to bring up all the bacon bits which I'm not even mad at because bacon's good. Alright, 
All right, this is gonna sound nice and hot. Let's get this chicken in. Hopefully I can get a nice little sear on it, nice and brown, then into my oven, then into my oven dish, and we'll be good. So this has been going now for probably close to five minutes. We'll turn it over a couple minutes now. Starting to get the nice gold color. Yeah. So we've done one side. We're gonna let the other side cook now as well and see up. And then I'll probably put it in the oven for about 20, 30 minutes. I'm not 100% sure. I'll probably come check it at 20 minutes and then again at 30 minutes. And then we'll just go from there. So yeah. Just by doing this, I'm just stopping it from getting too dry. I'm just kind of pouring that bacon and butter grease over the top of it, keeping the top hot. Nice. This is going to be amazing. I just want to turn it on the side for a minute. You can't even see the grease, guys. You can't even see it. Hold on. Can you see that crease? Like you can see a tiny little bit coming out of there, but this cooks up good. Okay guys, so we're starting off the sauce. We've got the bacon here, ready to go in. This is just a little saucepan, so it's got a little bit of butter, just because it just works better in my opinion. So we'll just cook this off. Smells so good. Lots of coffee. This bacon smells like it's smoked almost. It smells so amazing. All right, so I'm just going to take it off the heat for a second. All right, I'm going to turn the heat right down because now I'm going to add in. Thank you, Kai, darling, for the minion spoon because apparently they've stolen all of my teaspoons. So one big scoop with a teaspoon. I'm just going to mix it in. Kind of get it. See? I know it doesn't look too pleasing right now, but guys, I can promise. Some cream, just a little bit. Oh. Yeah, just a little bit. Because I'm one person, so this is essentially a one person serve. This could probably be a two person serve. So I'm just gonna let this kind of heat back up and cook a bit. And the flavors are going to be amazing. Okay, I just added another little bit of sour cream and it's just helping um, to actually thicken it together. I have noticed this before when I've made creams with uh, sour cream in the base as well. And once I add it, it does seem to bring a bit more of a thickness to it. Not too much, but just a bit more so it's not too watery. Definitely coats the back of the spoon properly. Smells amazing. Okay guys, so I've just taken out the skewer. My veggies are in the microwave because they're steam fresh. I'm just going to add the sauce, which looks amazing. Really, truly, oh, yum. 
give this a little turn around so you can see. Smells amazing. I'm going to taste this now. My veggies will be here in a minute, but I'm gonna taste this for you guys. Um, I'm actually going to cut it open and let's have a look at my cream cheese inside. So you can see my cream cheese filling here. It's nice and gooey. It's not melting out because I have let the chicken, ooh, it's not melting out because I have let the chicken rest a bit. And it is all cooked, which is perfect. We've got some of this sauce here. Yum. Okay guys, so. Mmm. That is amazing. So good. I'm gonna be making this a lot and I'm thinking of making quite a few different styles of um, stuffed chicken now that I kinda know how to do it. Um, I've seen a few really nice ones, but this is just amazing. This is worth making, guys. Definitely worth making. And not too difficult at all. All right, guys, that brings me to the end of another Fat Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, it is sad that I gained weight, but I promise we will get there in the end. Every day is better than the last, and that is all I can ask for. And hopefully I'll be back in the full swing of things very soon. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, so you do not miss any of my content because eventually there will be more. Trust me, there will be so much more than this keto vlog. I am just being pulled in a hundred million directions in my personal life at the moment. I really need to get that shit sorted so I can actually move forward with what I want to do on uh, YouTube. So there's that. Don't forget, guys, to give this video a like as well. So I know I've got your support, guys. It means a lot. Plus, you know, I made a hell of good stuffed chicken this week. It was amazing. Don't forget, guys, in the description below will also be all the links to my social media. I also have a goal to take photos of most of my meals throughout this week. It'll either be through my Instagram, probably my Instagram. I've really kind of come off Snapchat, but to my Instagram and you guys will be able to see what I'm eating. I'm hoping this will keep me more on track and we will have better results next week. All right, guys, until next Friday. Bye.